Okay, I'm going to do a quick little video here. I'm not going to shoot a cat or anything. Do one of the uh, of the Star Firestar M45. As you can see, it's empty. No clip in it. Anyway, this is the the M45. I bought it in '92. That's probably had. A few thousand rounds fired through it. I used to keep track of it, but moving back and forth to Texas and stuff, I somehow or another lost the uh, the uh, paperwork I had for it. But uh, anyway, it's been a nice little gun. It was a cheap gun that I uh, that I purchased. I sold and traded off some other guns and back at the time <laughs> running my own little motorcycle repair business that was doing great for a while and then it and it died and well I sold off a bunch of the guns so I bought these as a just to have something to plink with I say these it's this one in a in a Bursa which I'll show you here in a minute but it's been a great gun I'll shoot this can out here. It's probably, I don't know, 50, 60 feet away. So uh, I'm leaning against a cattle fence thing here. I see some cat, a cat way out there. There's some cats usually in the barn. You're going to see shit scatter like crazy when I fire this thing off. But anyway, here it goes. It's loud, so be prepared. It's kind of hard leaning across this this uh, fence guard here or gate. Huh, interesting. Didn't feed the second round. See, it's empty. Here's my next one, which is an old, uh, I bought this around the same time. It's a Bursa 380 ACP. How it works is very uh, similar to a to a Beretta without the the breech and the in the barrel. I mean the takedown and stuff. I had a Beretta model 73, I think it was. This is a a model um, 383A, and uh, I think I purchased this around the same time as that 45. Now the thick grip may lead you to believe that it's got the uh, the large capacity but it's actually the small capacity and the Berettas the the thicker grip had the uh, large capacity magazine and the thinner grip had the uh, you know seven round oh sorry again I didn't show you it's empty I, guess I should do that first thing huh but uh anyway We'll pluck off a couple of rounds with this thing. Jeez, I've had too much coffee this morning. My hands are all shaky. Again, I'm just shooting some cheap uh, CCI rounds through it. This one's uh, double action. It's got the safety with the hammer drop, which is nice. And uh, again, this one's been very reliable too. It's been a good little pistol. So. I'll plink out here in the in the same area 
This is the 45 here. successfully hit it once. How cool is that, huh? Anyway, she's empty, as you can see. No clip, no rounds. Do chalk it. Anyway, she's been a she's been a good little pistol too. Had a lot of fun shooting this thing. Just a little 380, but still it's a nice little pistol. It's been good. So uh, anyway, I got a handful of rounds for for each one of these. I'll I'll lob them off. I don't know if this camera goes real quiet after you make a loud noise like that or not. So we'll play it by ear. So you can see I'm just using those cheap rounds. The local uh, hardware store has these on hand, so I I snagged them. I hope hope this camera is picking up everything. Yeah, let's see here. Let's grab some for the 45. Not really any neighbors around to. Of course, I'm way out of city limits. And only <laughs> only have one magazine for each, so I have to to load them each time. What are these things called? Blazers or something like that? Just junk, but they're okay for plinking. So we'll fire the fire the old 45 one more time. It's a good gal, big big bore in it. 45s are cool. I've just always had a soft spot. Thinking about grabbing a a Glock 30. I had a Glock. Uh, what the hell is it? The 21, the full size one. And I've had the 40, the 23, a couple of 17s, a 17L. I've had a few blocks, or Glocks, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know, they're, they're just so cheap and cheesy. <laughs> I could just, I don't know, I just couldn't justify the money I spent for them, so I kept trading them off and selling them. But, uh, yeah, I'm much older since I was doing that, so... The sun's probably going to absolutely wipe out my my camera here. So let's, let's plink off some more rounds here. I shot a pistol. <laughs> Didn't hold it back last round. See, she's empty. No, it won't drop without the clip in it. The sun isn't destroying my uh, my video. The wide angle on this thing tends to uh, desaturate pretty bad with the uh, glaze, sun glaze. I don't know why I don't seem to be able to hit the broadside of a barn with this one. Look how far off that one was. Yeah, plinking it. I'm 
long lost my, uh, my pistol hand. You know, to be honest with you, I don't think I've shot either one of these things in probably a couple of years. She's empty. I'll have to get out here and plank some more. Plus, it's kind of weird. My elbows are all up over this fence. But uh, anyway, here's some quick little little shots of, from the pistolas. I almost had that thing well oiled. It's just oozing out everywhere. But uh, anyway, that's that for that. The Bursa 383A and the uh, the Star Fire Star M45. Cool little pistols. Very inexpensive, but uh, like I say, they've been they've been good pistols. Been very good. Been reliable, which I did not expect out of them at all. So, anyway, I head back into the house.